You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Well, who would have thought five years ago in a straight kickboxing match that Brian T. City Ortega could hang, if not beat, most of the best featherweights in the world? Certainly in our fighter meeting this week, he talked a lot about striking. But if this fight does hit the canvas, decided advantage, of course, to T. City. Well, he's connected on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the wall with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the other. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but there's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Right, early round action here. All eyes are on T-City. Brian Ortega, we know how dangerous he is on the floor, but how about the strike team? I mean, he's gotten so much better. It was during the time away where Brian Ortega developed a great jab from the southpaw position, using his power hand out in front and just really thumping you with that front hand. Brian Ortega changes left. Oh! a big takedown. All right, side control now. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, D. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, now it's getting tight. to get some. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. Really smart approach by the offensive fighter, badgering that cut. More blood by the minute. If head movement wasn't important early, it's very important now because that cut has gotten a lot worse. Oh, nice job to catch the leg. He saw that strike coming and now works it into a takedown. So now he has the fight to the canvas. Let's see what he can do. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Oh, nice. Well, he's not leaking information. He is leaking blood and a lot of it as his opponent continues to realize success. I mean, he's finding so much success striking in that area of the face. His eye is so damaged. The blood is pouring everywhere. This has become very, very dangerous for him. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Beautiful head kick lands to Scott. Every strike he... Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Final seconds here in round one. So a strong five minutes down. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was pulled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye, and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two here. Close. Oh, you gotta like that as a two-time United States Olympian as he goes to the ankle pen to get the takedown. I mean, it speaks to the wrestling acumen. Just the ability to find any takedown available. What a beautiful ankle. Oh, he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Well, I don't think his corner is going to step in here, but maybe the referee will take a close look. I mean, that eye is disgusting. His eye is tough. He's been beat up. He got cut early in the fight, and he's just been targeted. 
in that area. He has not made anything, any changes to his defense, so he's continuing down this path. The doctor's going to take a look. Ortega's doing a nice job there, raising the guard to protect the eye with that block. You can't allow that cut to get worse as this fight continues. Topuri has got a big bruise starting to pull on the right side of his body. Oh, right under the elbow, right on the body. It was perfect. It was a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent reacting violently from that punch. Oh, high-level mixed martial arts there as he works for the takedown after catching the leg. Now let's see if he can inflict some damage here on the ground. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the corner. Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his... Oh, might be trying to set up a leg submission here. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Portia gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, so not exactly the approach we thought we would see out of this BJJ player. His ground game, you can argue, as good as anyone's in this division, yet he hasn't attempted to do the takedown. He has not even attempted to take him. I, I would never expect this. I don't understand what is going on in this fighter's head. He needs to get the fight to his wheelhouse. And that is on the ground in the grappling. I don't know, man. Pride is a weird thing, and it seems as though he's fighting with pride tonight. Uh, All right, that's the end of round number two. Uh, All right, heading back to the corner, and Ortega's eye is in rough shape. I mean, I would just probably quit, but he's not going to do that. But I would not be surprised if the ringside physician did come in and take a look at that here between rounds. Star chef trying to slice and dice the kitchen the way he's tearing his opponent up. Topodia gets tattooed by that elbow. These are raining down now on the ground. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, it, the, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. All right, very late in the fight now, DC. I know we don't have open scoring, but correct me if I'm wrong, he needs a submission when he's losing this fight. He is not a big puncher, so he needs to get this fight to the crown in case of submission. Oh, 
right then and there has called a stop to the action. Looks like he's going to call on the doctor to look at the cut, and it is a pretty significant one, DC. Well, he's bleeding a lot, and the, the, the blood is going into his eyes. It's very difficult for him to see right now. Yeah, that's going to yeah. do it. Fans don't like it. An unfortunate ending to a great fight, but you had to do it. He's disappointed, but, I mean, he got beat up, lived to fight another day. I think the official saved him. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight.